Hi, this is Nora. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're doing well. Today's video is going to focus on my 2022 inserts and the personal size that have worked well for me and the ones I'm going to use for 2023. If you're interested in anything that's planner related, any unboxing, stationery finds, planner setups, don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you have subscribed already, thank you so much for your support. For 2022, my main planner was my monogram for the majority of the year. This is in the M size from Louis Vuitton. And I've mostly shown this planner. You're probably, if you follow me over Instagram, which is Dr. Underscore Apple Plans, I know you saw it many, many times. Okay, so I'm going to go through um, the sections that I have currently, which are most likely the ones I'm going to keep um, for 2023. And if there's going to be a change, I will note that. First of all, as a ring planner, um, you know, storage can be an issue. So when I'm done with my planners, I'm, I'm sorry, when I'm done with my inserts, I immediately put it in here. Um, this is the Jillio in the Charcoal Matte Croc. And this is kind of like a temporary place, but afterwards I move forward and I do have a storage bin here that I plan on putting them in here. Now this is still kind of like subject to change, but I wanted to share that this I found through Amazon and it does fit the inserts in here. Okay, so let's go right into it. All the inserts that I'm going to show you are either going to be from Rosie Puffa 3. You can use code Nora10 to save there if you are interested in any of the inserts I show you today. And the other inserts I'm going to show you are from Infinite Lotus. You can use code Nora8 to save from that shop. Those two are my favorite shops, honestly, and that's where I get most of my items. This video is not going to look at any of the deco or anything like that. I will mention, you know, things as I go, but I'm mostly focusing on inserts. I do also have a little unboxing at the end from Infinite Lotus. And in this unboxing, you will see that some of the inserts that I purchased that kind of like to give them a try. I What I did is like, you know, I purchased them and I was able to, um, you know, print them, cut, punch them and give them a try. I decided to move forward and keep them. And that's why I ordered them. But let's look at what I have here for 2022. The first set of inserts, which you just get two front and back that worked for me was this yearly from Infinite Lotus. I was able to mark here my periods every single month. I noted that. In here, this is kind of for function as a future log, but I used it to put all the birthdays from family and friends. This back section, I did not use it, as I do have a different area where I do some goal planning. All right, now, um, in addition, why I didn't use this is because I wanted to go and implement Rosie Puppetri's inserts. These are her quarterly overviews, and I absolutely love these. And what I like about it is that it's front, back, front, back, and that you have your entire year just in two front and back inserts. That's it. What I do is I mark all of the medical appointments for my family and myself. And I just put a little dot here um, and to, to circle to highlight the specific date. I will be moving forward with both of these, meaning these from Infinite Lotus and these for 2023. I have purchased those and showed them in previous unboxings. And moving on to weekly. So weekly, um, I've had quite a journey. I'm sorry, monthly. <laughs> moving on to monthly. I did kind of a very small journey, actually, with monthly. The year I started it with the Infinite Lotus um, um, one month on one page, but I felt I needed I need a little bit more space. So I stopped using them and I moved forward with um, Rosie Puppa 3's inserts. And I now have loved the month on two pages. And my goal is to continue with this. Currently, that's what I have, what I have in my planner and I'm going to move forward with that. There are some sections I don't use and I'm okay with it. So pretty much you get your monthly, you know, your month and your um, your month right there, your monthly cover. Then you go straight into the monthly view. And then this back part, some months I did use them, other months I did not. I really think I'm just going to use them um, for the monthly views. And I love that they has the previous month, obviously the current month, and then the upcoming month right there. And I like how minimal they were overall. All of my inserts are very minimal. And as you can see, even me with my planning, I try to keep it as minimal as possible. I like this little margin on the side here. And I like that she had these really light um, boxes here that I can still differentiate between each day. And so it kind of gave me a little guide so I didn't um, get out of the box as much as I could. <laughs> okay, so that is for the monthly. And now I'm going to move on to the weekly. Okay. Oh, and I also want to mention that I do use a lot of these notes on pages as a reference um, for just at a glance date, like throughout the year, like if I wanted to do some upcoming um, meetings, I just mark them there. All right. I also use um, sticky notes from Infinite Lotus. Oh, and these were also from Infinite Lotus as well. Just like a nice grid. And then these are just sticky notes also from Infinite Lotus that I use to supplement items. Okay. So 
also the weekly. Um, I'm currently using a weekly hourly, which I love and adore. And I did um, go ahead and purchase the 2023 year dated completely right here. This was from a previous unboxing, by the way. However, in the past, I have used these other weeklies that I'm going to show you. These are mostly from Infinite Lotus. I started out the year with um, these here, which are like the weekly on two pages. And it allowed for lists, as you can see here. But my issue with these was that then when I was doing daily planning, I felt like <laughs> I kind of wrote it here already. So I didn't want to keep, you know, writing things over and over. Okay, so that was one insert that, while very nice, I also wanted a little bit more space for planning. Okay, like um on this side where... Whereas now I can see everything. I see time blocking. I see all the items that I have at a glance. And I still get to keep my list down there, which I was doing some here. But in a more condensed version, this insert allows me to do daily planning without a problem. Okay, um, then I moved into these here around April. These are the week on one page now. So these week on one pages were really great. But again, I kind of wanted a little bit more space. And I just didn't quite always know when things were happening and that's why as I mentioned I'm very happy <clears throat> that I've been in the weekly hourly inserts now okay so that's for weekly planning and I'm going to move on here to daily planning I'm currently in um in these here which are going to be um half hour slots and I'm from infinite lotus I've been really enjoying these and but previous to these, I've tried these other ones that I think work very, very well. One of them are from Rosie Papa 3. I love that you can divide both of these. These are also half hour slots, but you're able to differentiate between home and work for me or whatever two categories you want to create. These have the half hour slots here, whereas Infinite Lotus has them on the left side. It's personal taste. I love them both, to tell you the truth. Another insert that I tried also from Rosie Puppet 3 were similar, but just didn't have the two categories. You just had a running to-do list, but they'd also had the same um, half hour slots here on the right side. Okay. And I've been using for the majority of the year, all of these um, half hour dailies that are, that are the ones I'm currently using. These are the ones I've been using mostly for 2022. All right, and my goal is to continue with these as well for 2022, but I will switch around. In fact, I found um, some of these others that are a day, um, two days on one page. I use these from Infinite Lotus that I really like, especially for like the summer when I don't have a lot going on. I thought these were, were worked really, really well. And I did move forward and I added an option like that for 2023. These are dated actually. And these are the um, all the same idea, right? You accept they're stacked, whereas these were next to each other. I do have a preference towards these that I'm using right now, but I know for slower seasons, I can definitely jump into these here. And these were also from a previous unboxing. Okay, so that is for daily planning. Moving on, these are more additional planners. So for example, I have a habit tracker to track um, different items, but I'm not sure I'm gonna move into, continue with these for 2023. I've also used a different type of tracking system for sleep and mood, and these have been working very well, and I will continue with this idea. I have different pages here for like um, lists as well, um, such as these here, what to buy, and also a quarter tracker as well that has worked, and I'm definitely going to continue with these here. These are all from Infinite Lotus, the ones that I just showed you, like the list one, the order tracker as well as these type of trackers that I'm using and the habit trackers. And in the back, I do have a bills tracker, but I'm not going to show you that section because I had some private stuff there, but you can get the idea here. And some of these inserts, what I did originally, these additional ones is that I did purchase um, print um, punched, cut those and gave them a go. And if I like them, I continued. For example, I tried these here. But I just um, felt like I wanted to do more of this daily journaling elsewhere instead of um, in my planner. So I took that out. Here's more of those habit trackers I showed you. Just some past previous ones. These are some previous items that I use. Just some old inserts. Okay. So that um, completes um, what I've been using and what worked and what didn't work as far as my inserts and the, one I want, the ones I want to use for 2023. 
please feel free to add um ask anything in the comments please um because i know that i don't want to make this very long so i may be going a little bit quicker than you might like me to go okay and lastly i do have my infinite lotus order that i want to share with you In every Infinite Lotus order, you will receive a monthly card, a planner card that you can use in your planner. And I do reference these a lot. You will also get your planner owner card and a little thank you card. First item I received that I ordered in this recent order, this is for my Black Friday. Um, this was um, a different, more like a woven texture monthly card. I do have a set of these that I showed in a previous unboxing. But when I received one of these, one of these on one of on a previous order, I really, really loved it. So I said, you know what? I'm going to get both of them. So I'm going to use these for sure for 2023, both of them. If you notice, sometimes in my planner, you would see that I had um, sticky notes in there. And so I went ahead and I ordered these since they were on sale. And um, let me just see if I can just pull one out from here so I don't have to go through the unpackaging portion of it. And that way I can move a little bit quicker in my um, in my video here. So here, they're great with the stickiness of them. I absolutely love them. This is the grid. And now you guys know when I have my nail appointments and when the pup has her grooming appointments. But very minimal. I absolutely love and adore them. Use these throughout my planners. Um, definitely um, try it and true. In my unboxing, I also have more notes. Because like I said, I've been using those a lot. And I've been really enjoying them. And I'm not going to take them out of the packaging just because I, you know, they're, I can just show them to you right here and I did show them to you previously. So these are definitely a go for me. Next item on order were the actual order trackers. And for some reason, my printer just doesn't have the best um, definition. And so, yeah, it's, um, you can see it's not good. Whereas these will be perfect. And that is one advantage of obviously ordering your inserts because Infinite Lotus as well as Rose Group 3, their inserts are just perfect. Great paper, um, the color of it, like the, the everything, the, the way that they use the color, it's like light and their printers are way better. They're professional printers than like mine. Then the habit tracker that I previously showed you as well. I, the same thing, I had um, printed this and punched it. And while it was affordable, you know, right? Doing that, I felt like I really needed that, um, more professional um, print out, right? I don't have an issue cutting and punching, but <laughs> the definition of my printer is just not the best. You can see the quite the difference there, okay? So very happy now I have these and they feel so nice, nice and smooth. Love this paper. And sorry, things are kind of all over here. The last item, these two are together. And as I said in the video, I've been really, really enjoying my daily planning with these here from Infinite Lotus. And so, of course, I wanted to commit and I went ahead and I did order the full 2023, okay, in these here, all right? So, um, you get two of them here. And in addition to that, you also get like a little cover. And right after the cover, you get your first date in January here. When you get to February... A little quicker here you'll find another monthly cover so you can write like goals and things that's something i didn't have because that's the pro of getting ordering everything dated that there are these additional things I'm, i know you can print these on your own and purchase these separately but i like the fact that these are already here in case you want to put like goals or just important dates you want to note and reference later on and then move into your daily dated insert um and i think that's kind of like the um kind of the takeaway for me that I was able to experiment with a couple different inserts and once I really found some that um worked very well for me I decided to just take the next step and um get them dated and um uh and have a several of them like I said because not only did I order that one I also got these that are dated as well so it gave me a little bit more flexibility all right um very happy to answer any questions in the comments i hope you enjoyed my video and that it was helpful to um your possible insert selection for 2023 and i want to thank you again um and don't forget to use the codes if there are any inserts that you felt would be helpful for 2023 planning thank you again it has been an absolute pleasure to um have you here and join me have a great one